what is good everybody 2j again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel so let's take our illustrator project to photoshop and do the final composition all right so here we are now in photoshop and i'm going to make my width size 720 and then my height is going to be 9 100. All right, so I'm using the same frame size that uh, we have in um, Illustrator, and I'm gonna call this um, T Sander. All right, so this is where we are doing our final composition. So I'm going to um, make this, um, let's say, 100. All right, then I'm gonna select the Create button. All right, then I'll go back to Illustrator, and I'm going to shift select all the objects. All right, and I'm gonna select the unite button here, and I'm gonna hit Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy the object, and I'm gonna go straight to Photoshop, and I'm going to um, paste it. So the option I'm gonna select here is gonna be the shape layer, so I'm gonna select the OK button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this and bring in the same image that we have in um, illustrator so i'm going to pull, move this here hold on shift and drag this um sorry i'm not supposed to hold on shift okay so i'm going to drag this down because i'm using photoshop cc 2021 now i'm going to make this visible and position this above the um, layer and i'm going to bring out the free transform and scale this down this is where i'm going to position it and I'm going to just um, create a new layer now. Then I'm going to select the pen tool. That I'm going to change my fill to no fill. And I'm going to make my stroke, um, let's say, orange. So as to be able to see my parts as I draw on my screen. All right. So now I'm going to, uh, you know, start from here. And I'm just going to drag like so. Oops, that's too wide, so I'm gonna make that real small. Alright, so I'm gonna make it be like, um, let's say, 51 is fine, so I'm gonna click here. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and click to break this handle, then I'm gonna drag, 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 and drag, like so. Alright, I'm gonna change this to no no stroke and i'm going to change the color back to i'm going to change the color to black and um, you see we have um, this okay so um for this side i'm going to click with my pen tool click here click here click here click here click. sorry i'm supposed to change the fill to no fill before doing this so this is what we have now on this and then for the E and I mean the F and the L so I'm going to bring out the pen tool again change this to no fill and this should be on this so I'm gonna click and click, click. Um, so I need to first close this alt and I'll come here. You know what? Let us show this here. Click here. This, I'm going to change the color to black. I'll take out this stroke. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Use the shape tool. Change this to no um, stroke. And I'm going to change this to black. So, right now, it's making sense now, right? So I'm going to um, crop out this uh, leg from, it, from the background. So I'm going to select the background layer and I'll select the rectangle marquee tool and I'm going to select select and mask button here and I'm going to select select object. So Photoshop is going to crop out the leg for me and I'm going to um, zoom in and use the refine edge brush to just take out the white part from the selection so set in here and take this out here like so 
all right then i'm going to scroll down and select the contaminate colors and i'm going to click the ok button so why i decided to do this is because of the, the bottom part of the object all right so i'm going to make a copy and select the pen tool now this time i'm going to start from here Going to change the color to black and make the stroke no stroke like so. All right, so this is what we have at the moment. So uh, I think I still need to tweak this um, shape here. So I'm going to select. Let's look for the layer. All right, this is it. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool here and I'll move this down. Like so let's put that down. Put this out in here. Push this out. Push this down. Okay. You know what? I think I just feel I should just push this out like so. And just push this. Position it here. Like so. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing now is to bring in the soul. All right, so I'm going to move that, drag that, and drop here and flip it this way. And this should be behind, this should be under the letter. All right, I'm going to position this here. I'm going to position this. This should be behind the foot, sorry. Let's scale this. Bring out the free transform and just scale this down a bit. Position this here and take it. Let's push this up a bit like so. Do the enter key. I'm going to change the color of the objects to the color of the soul. So I'm going to select the fill uh, box here and click and use the eyedropper tool to pick this color and hit the OK button. Then I'm going to do the same thing to this. I'm just going to pick the color here. So, I'm going to create a new layer. You know what? We need to push this up a little bit more. So, I'm going to push this up. So, now I'm going to select the pen tool. I'll click here. And zoom out. And just, you know, connect the, it together with this drawing like so. Okay, and now I'm going to make this no fill, no stroke, and I'm going to make this have the same color with the rest of uh, the project, like so. I'm going to um, hold down and click on the thumbnail of the uh, layers. So I'm going to start with this side of um, the project, and I'll hold down shift and click on the sole. I'm going to do the same thing here. Do the same thing here. Click, click, and click. Uh, like so. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new layer, and I'll call this shadow. Then I'm going to select the um, OK button, and I'll add a layer mask to that. And the reason why I decided to add a layer mask because I'm applying I'm applying brush to this layer, and I don't want this to go outside of the um, shape of the object so now i'm going to put everything here in a group so i'm going to shift select everything and hit hold on shift and click on the folder icon and i'm going to call this i'm going to go to the foreground here and pick the, the same shade of pink and i'm going to move this down a bit to make it a little bit darker in fact let's just call this mid-tone this should be our mid-tone all right this should be our mid-tones okay so then I'm going to select my brush tool, then I'll go to the brush settings and I'll select the soft round brush and I'll zoom in 
and I'm just going to gently apply the brush to the project like so all right now um, you notice I'm having this issue of my brush going outside of the shape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit ctrl Z so I'm going to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm just going to take out this side Close it like so. All right, so I'll use the direct um, selection tool to just tweak this. So I'm going to move this up like so. So this is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the shape layer, and I'll go to the layer mask of the mid tone and hit Alt Backspace to add that um, part, that selection to the layer mask. And I'm going to hit Ctrl D on my keyboard to deselect. And now if I go back to my brush tool and I apply, and apply the brush, now you see it's not going to go outside of the path. Sorry, I'm doing it on the wrong thumbnail. So I'm going to select this and just, you know, apply this like so. Right, so I think I'm having the same issue here. So I'll use the pen tool. So what I'm going to do next is to create another layer and call this shadow. This needs to be more darker than the previous one, like this. All right. Then I'm going to just apply that here. You see, I need to make a copy of the layer mask. I'm going to hold an alt and drag and drop on the shadow layer. And we have this. And I'm going to just, um, you know, Now the reason why I'm not getting the 100% strength of my brush is because I have my transfer option check. But if and that's because I have a graphics tablet. So if you don't have a graphics tablet, simply turn your flow down to let's say 15, all right, and you are going to get the same, um, you know, effect. Okay, so I'm just going to drag that here like so. Just apply that here. All right, then I'm going to use the razor tool to just gently take the you know the shadow away from this side of my project. So I'm going to make sure I have the transfer option check and make sure you are on the soft front brush like mine and do the same thing again by changing your flow to um, 15. And I'm just going to gently take that out from here like so. All right. So just going to make this. So I'm going to turn on. I'm going to turn on shape dynamic, and I'm going to turn off transfer. And under the shape dynamic, I'm going to change this to pen pressure because I'm at, I'm using a graphics tablet. And I'll go to the brush tip and just close the spacing like so. All right. So now gonna move the smooth to um, you know 67 so as to have smooth movement of my brush then I'm gonna move everything back transfer option Turn off. 
first modes and gonna gently take this hard form in a project like so like so and select the brush tool again reduce the size of my brush and just gently apply that back here like so I'm gonna go straight to the um, drawing we did with, uh, with Illustrator, and you know what? Let's just make this more smooth because I think I'm not really feeling this side off. Let's fill in it. So just in case you notice you over apply the brush, you can go back to your eraser tool and you know take out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hold on Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of uh, the Illustrator drawing and I'll create a new layer and I'll call this line. Alright, then I am going to go to Select, Modify and Select Contract. So on my contract, I'm going to make this two. Alright, then I'm going to fill this with um, white. With, so since my foreground color my background color is set to white so i'm going to use the shortcut which is control backspace and i'll go again to select modify and i'll select contract again and, and this time i'm going to use one I select ok button then i'm going to hit backspace on my keyboard to take out that fill from the layer and i'm going to hit control d to deselect the project now you see we have this lines around um, you know my letter so what i'm going to do is to change my blend mode to and i'm going to add the a layer mask to this so then I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm just going to gently take out so I'm going to use the brush tool right now and I'm going to gently take this out from the side of the project like so Going to reduce the opacity a bit then i'm going to zoom in oops i'm going to zoom in just take it out from here so the other thing i'm going to do again is to add shadow to this all right so i'm going to hold on control and click to create um, a marquee of that um, you know line that we just did and i'm going to create a new layer so i'm going to call this now hold alt backspace and I'll go to filter and select Gaussian blur. Blur should be something around let's say six is fine. Now I'm gonna press the OK button and this needs to be behind this. Okay, and I'll push this out a bit. Okay, and just and then I'll reduce the opacity a bit and I'm gonna hold on Alt and copy and paste this um, layer mask that I did on the line on the shadow. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit visible. Right, so this is good. Uh, this is okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to add shadow to this side of uh, the sander, right? So I am going to first. So I'm going to add shadow to the project, so I'll go back to the Illustrator drawing again. I'll hold on Alt and click to create a marquee of that layer and I'm going to create a new layer now and I'm going to call this shadow. Fill this with black or backspace. So then this needs to be behind um, the shape from Illustrator and I'll go to Filter, Blur and select Gaussian Blur. Alright, then uh, I think I need to make this. Let's just make this nine and select the OK button. So I'll use the up and down arrow key on my keyboard to just push that out once and push it down once, like so. Then the uh, 
opacity of this should be the 7. Okay, and I'm going to add a layer mark to this. Then I'll select the brush tool. Increase the size of my brush and just gently take it out from some part of the project, like so. So then I'm going to create another layer above the previous one. I call the shadow. Again, okay. then we'll make it shadow two. Then I'm going to select the brush tool and zoom in. All right. So what I'm going to do is um, let me just take out the shadow again from this side. Then okay. select the brush tool and just take it out from this side. This like side. So. This is good and I'll select the new layer that I just created. Oops, I'm gonna take it out from here. Alright, then I'm gonna to go to the new layer I just created and change my flow to 60. Alright, and I am gonna apply the shadow here, but I need to use dark brown for this. Filter, blur, so like brush and blur. All right, and I'm gonna select the OK button. So we have um, this. Okay, then the next thing we are doing now is to change the color of our background. All right, so I'm going to go to my foreground here and just use the shade of um, cream color and select the OK button. And I'm gonna fill this with a backspace. Uh, you know what, this is looking too um, dark for me, so I'm going to come here and use the lighter shade of this. And I'm going to set the OK button. And I'll use old backspace again. Now, this is good. Then I'll create a new layer and use that, that, that tone of that color to just gently apply. All right, then I'm gonna create a shadow. I'll call this shadow. Okay, of the shoe. I'll just put shoe. Click the OK button. Then I'll come here and choose a dark, uh, you know, brown color. Dark brown color, like so. All right, then polygonal lasso tool. To do that, so I'm just going to click and I'm going to fill this with all black space. Then I'm going to use the um, Ctrl D, which is the shortcut of taking out the marquee from the layer on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go to filter and I'll select blur and select um, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to move this up like so. Right, so I'll select the OK button, then I'll add a layer max to this. Then I'll select the brush tool, increase the size of my brush, and just gently take out the shadow. Then I'm going to create another shadow again for this part of the, sh the sander. Then I'm going to create a new layer again for this. All right. Then I'm going to select the startup brush, reduce the size of my brush, and just reduce the hardness a bit. I actually want something a little bit softer. Alright, so I'm just going to select that and I'm going to click. Then I'm going to go to filter, blur, select brush and blur. So select the OK button and I'll add the line max to this again. Select the brush tool. And then I'm just going to gently.
bring out the free transform and just scale this down a bit. I'm gonna scale it down so this should be uh, so so here my keyboard and we have uh, this then I need to add shadow under the the, the sander right so I'm going to create a new layer again and I'm going to zoom in reduce the size of my brush I'm going to gently draw so what I'm going to do now is to add more depth to the skin so I'm going to go to the adjustment tab and select the curve adjustment and then say I only want this to apply to the the leg so I'm going to just push that down a bit like so alright then I'm going to create a new layer again and I'm going to fill this layer with this skin tone color then I'm going to hold on alt and backspace and this time I'm going to hold on alt and click in between the curve layer and the fill layer to put that inside the layer of the leg so I'm just going to double click to bring out the layer style and I'm going to blend it there so this needs to go this way right like so and I'm going to hold on alt and push this here and push this out like so so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the color of the skin blend a little bit with the background all right so I'm going to just reduce the opacity of this a bit then um, one other thing I'm going to do before we go straight to camera raw is to add highlights to this so I'm going to create a new layer and call this highlight all right then I'm going to come here and pick the shade of color and make this brighter and so and I'm going to hold on the size of my brush and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and click on the drawing and I'm going to select the highlight layer and add a layer max to this you know what we almost said so I'm going to click on the thumbnail of the layer and I'm just going to gently apply that here now you see we need to be on the soft um, round brush when doing this so I'm going to increase the size of my brush and just gently apply that here like so just do the same thing here and I'm going to gently draw okay so you see what's going on there I need to be I need to create a new layer for this all right so I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna gently gently so so this is good now I'm going to stamp visible of all the layers and take this to camera raw. so I'm gonna hold on ctrl shift alt and e to do that and I'm gonna go to filter and I'll go to camera raw filter here all right so I am gonna start with the basic so I'm under the basic I'm gonna just right I'm gonna put the contrast down and reduce the highlight for for the shadow I'm gonna just push that down so as to add more depth to the shadow on the project and um, for my highlight I'm gonna push that down because I want to have smooth skin of the leg alright so I'm gonna close this and I'll go straight to detail and increase the sharpen a bit alright this bit here and under the uh, details or the under the effect excuse me I'm gonna add noise to this so I'm adding more going to this and I'm going to click the OK button alright then another thing I think I still need to do here is to you know create a new layer and change the color of this to you know, something darker like so and I'm just going to make this part darker so alright then I'm going to blend it this but before I do that I'm going to change my blend mode to soft light yeah then I'm going to double click here and just blend it with this. All right, so I'm going to just oh, well, let's just use this. So I'm going to put this here, hold on Alt and break the slider and just position this here, position this here. I can click the OK button and then we have this. 
i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials like share and comment on this video i'll see you guys again in my next tutorial peace